1. Introduction to Daily Business News The business news summary is an essential part of many people's daily activities, be it their main activity or simply part of the day. In these news reports, those interested in business and economics are given a glimpse into the updated data and news, which will help them make better decisions. It's a great way to stay informed about recent developments and any changes that may be coming. Usually these daily reports will provide updates on markets, stocks, commodities, and other financial instruments. The summaries about breaking news usually have a worldwide perspective, not limited to one country. They analyze what happened and why, acting as an economic analysis combined with finance reports. There is usually a report on pre-market expectations from investors and analysts. Information on midday activities and closing information is also included. Naturally, these emails offer readers insight into the activities and results of every specific business within national and international parameters. Not only the research department but also those involved and those who are interested can use the company's reports. Today, instruments are ready to be used by the companies at market prices and used globally. Importance of staying informed in the business world. There are so many different news sources to which a person may wish to link, it is essential that they take the time to find which business news briefings would best suit personal needs. One of the best and most comprehensive information technology news sources available is the daily investment news piece that is available on the market. Whether an individual needs to make sure that they are making the wisest economic investing decisions or just need to remain updated when it comes to the wonderful news pieces that are currently happening in the business world, the investment news can be a helpful and crucial tool. Without doubt, one of the most rapidly changing parts of the modern day world is the business world. Whether a person is involved with the business world as a Fortune 500 executive, a lawyer, a school teacher, a small business owner or an engineer, it is important that the individual stay on top of daily business news. In the past there was simply no real way to participate in the industry news, and major world news was reported in the same format in which it took place. With the technology that is used today, it is as simple as turning on a laptop or turning on a smartphone to fully receive business briefing news. 2. Key Concepts in Market Updates and Analysis In the realm of market updates and analysis, there is enough content to be reviewed and considered, bringing to context the most relevant updates in content. Within a slate from around the world, we look at new deal introductions, lease takeovers as provided in the AFCO multiple listing service feed, also defining relevant content and announcements that illustrate progress and record of relevance. Within the key messages on ESG regarding the C-suite adoption, ratings care and external reporting, we observe an overview and to be further understood, basis for the CEO's concern as customers, and also recognizing that more attention is being paid by employees to consider purpose for the decision. An article that cites Capstone takes a broader look and announces existence of ESG topic. With considerations about the approach, that it is critical to bring the strategy to reality. This is highlighted in the survey as also reflected in the text which says that EY analysis indicates that by integrating resources, key performance indicators, governance, metrics, stakeholders can be brought into sync to boost value. Understanding Stock Market Indices Stock in each security price change based on the old trading day's quotations, and then the base index value is adjusted for those daily price changes. These price adjustments, or percentage changes, provide more meaningful information about market performance than do the index daily point movements. A stock market index, extensively reported in the financial media, gives analysts a general market trend. Fluctuations in stock portfolio values can be closely related to the performance of the particular index to which the portfolio value is indexed. The analyst is responsible for maintaining the short side analysis of common stock and acquiring the debt analysis of tax liabilities, preferred and common stakes. Data from the Wilshire Financial Services Group, WFSG, show how US stock returns had fluctuated in both low and non-bounding market indices. 
Three of the most frequently reported stock market indices are the Dow Jones Industrial Average, DJIA, the Standard & Poor's 500, S&P 500, and the Nasdaq Composite. The GIA is an average, computed by adding up the prices of a fixed number of stocks. The S&P 500, actually more representative of the market, is based on market value, current price times the number of exposed shares. The S&P 500 is also thought to be the best single gauge of the market's makeup of common stock issues. The Nasdaq Composite Index is an electronic index that reflects value changes of issues with the Nasdaq system, while the Nasdaq 100 is a broader index of largely large-cap stocks. The Common Market Index is based on 36 blue chips with a base value of approximately 200. To compute the market index, the base value of 100 shares of each stock is divided into the new value. The Common Market Index is an accuracy of value-weighted diversity, which tends to dampen short-run price changes because security prices are neutral. 3. Sources of Business News Closely related to the enormous importance of these public and private sources of information is the role of the mass media in exposing alleged market failures. While the mass media play an important role in exposing activities such as violation of monopoly laws, deficiencies in product safety, deceptions in advertising, and discrimination in employment, they seldom play more than a minor role in providing sufficient news for the operation of competitive markets. Economic theory does not predict that the economically desirable events of exposing questionable market behavior and informing the public of the social costs of market failures should be especially vividly described. Moreover, news sources tend to offer news about business crises or greed-driven actions more than about kindness. But that does not reflect the occurrence of these activities. Some businessmen are no more focused on greed than are, say, male florists for being male. In addition to news from corporations themselves, a number of public and private sources can provide a wide variety of business-related information. Several of the most important of these are national radio broadcasting services such as CBS, television services such as those provided by the cable news network and publicly available channels of the National Broadcasting Company, the American Broadcasting Company, and the Public Broadcasting Service, popular business magazines like Business Week, Fortune and Forbes, specialized information firms such as Tellerate, Quotron Systems and Dow Jones, trade publications and newspapers, and the business editions of newspapers. Traditional media outlets. Traditional media include television and radio, newspapers, magazines and books, and the electronic delivery equivalents for each of these traditional media. The consumer market for information is the collective set of interested, willing and able readers, listeners and viewers. Over the past quarter century, television has become the most dominant carrier of daily news and information. Independent television stations and those affiliated with major networks have the greatest capability to reach viewers when they carry news and information programs. In addition, Cable systems can carry broadcasts or originate programming, giving added reachability to consumers. Newspapers enjoy day-in and day-out patronage by most subscribers. However, the number of copies of any one day's paper delivered to homes and businesses has very little in common with the total number of persons who read the combination of daily, local, national and world news, sports, special events, stock market results, human interest columns, report days, feature articles, special sections, and want advertisements in the paper. Three outlets publish daily editions of business news, The Wall Street Journal, Investors Business Daily, and Financial Times. The daily business pages of many large newspapers provide timely market updates and analysis of the day's developments. Morning Radio provides market updates partly to prepare the way for the stock market open in New York at 9.30 a.m. For readers who have limited time, briefings in news magazines such as Business Week and regional business weeklies such as Puget Sound Business Journal are beneficial. These publications and many others present surveys, interviews and features to update the reader on various business matters. Home and Business, part of the interactive network of PC communications, teletext videotext receive live, updating headline news as part of their features. For the email client, 
information is delivered electronically via a variety of special interest networks. USA Today has taken the fast read approach to its national format. 4. Market Analysis Techniques If you recall from your favorite regression class, the only way to go is to look for variables that might be correlated with the market quantities one wants to predict, and then attempt to make a decision about how to weight these different predictors in order to create the best model. Of course in our case, we do not have the luxury of being able to manipulate variables to see how the market reacts. Almost all of our predictors are historical prices and quantities which are set in stone. In the mathematical language of quantitative finance, we shall formally think of our market data as representing samples from one or more random variables. Two distinct random variables which may generate our market data include the stochastic discount factor, also known as the state price vector, and random payoffs of the different available securities. Now that we've discussed the sources of market data, the attributes of market data, what it means to have clean market data, and general strategies for storing and managing market data, let us turn our attention to the primary issue at hand. How can we use historic market data to gain insights and information that will help us improve the profitability of our financial models? The general approach to this problem is to create a model that, given information on past market data, will predict future market data. If we were able to construct an accurate model that would be able to predict, for example, future stock prices, then using the model to make informed investment decisions would be trivial. Of course we don't know how to make such models, if we did, we wouldn't be teaching this class, we'd be on the beach somewhere betting on winners at the track. Technical Analysis versus Fundamental Analysis However, the benefits of using a combination of the two are many. They increase investment trading profitability, limit loss, reduce the volatility of reward, adjust the investment size and time horizon, as well as provide potential assistance in investment portfolio structuring for conservative investors. In short, a blend of both analyses may be effective in giving a complete picture for investors' use. Three other differences between the two methods are easiness to implement, objectivity and long-term use. Because the content of TAR is simpler and more focused, it is easier to implement as an investment tool than FA. Moreover, some traditional FA methods are unable to achieve a high level of objectivity and require subjectivity to perform. Lastly, while FA is a long-term analysis tool, TAR is a short and medium-term analysis tool. The two main differences between the two methods are their contents and utility. The contents of FA are numbers and figures as well as many aspects and characteristics of a company, while that of TAR are mainly price and volume and crowd sentiment. The utility of FA is to apply company and industry, as well as related environment analysis, in order to discover real value by applying various valuation methods. The utility of TA on the other hand, is in forecasting future price and volume, so as to generate profitable investment and trading strategies. FA provides you fundamental strength and a target price for a security, while TAR gives you the entry and exit point for the same based on market psychology and the share price performance of that security. In other words, FA evaluates intrinsic value, while TAR reveals the impact of bullish or bearish sentiment on the share price. TAR is designed to predict the future stock and security prices, that of FA is designed to predict the future business performance such as profitability and value creation. The debate between these two schools of financial statement analysis or market analysis began with the advent of stock markets and the public issue of shares. Technical and fundamental analysts have traditionally been going at each other by casting aspersions on the method used by the other without fully understanding each other's viewpoint. In reality, both FA and TAR are not exclusive or competitive, they are actually complementary. TAR provides the perspective in terms of the current dynamics of the market and the price of a company's shares. On the other hand, FA provides a broader context to the market dynamics and attempts to value companies with respect to their business performance and strategic vision. Understanding the difference between fundamental or qualitative analysis, FA, 
and technical or quantitative analysis TAR, is a basic but very important topic in equity investing. Choosing one or the other method, either FA or TA, is a decision that every investor has to make. There are, however, investors who use a combination of both or intermediate methods of analysis. 5. Impact of global events on markets. Natural disasters, conflict or war, political turmoil or criminal activity may create knee-jerk reactions. The most common long-term consequence of global events includes an increase in defense spending in the global economy or a cut in defense spending due to the expense of a conflict and the possibilities of benefits of reconstruction. Businesses will tend to hold off on investment or hiring when they are addressing concerns caused by a global event. Individuals and business confidence will be negatively affected by political uncertainty. Economic confidence will decline in uncertain economic environments. The most sought-after investments in these situations are gold, silver, industrial commodities, and foreign bonds of economically stable countries, among others. Global events, including natural disasters, political turmoil, and scandals, have the potential to impact global economic conditions. In the short term, they may cause concerns which turn into knee-jerk reactions by the market, causing market volatility. Once the investors reassess the situation, these short-term effects may go away, with the market finding its normalcy. In the long term, many of these events are handled by the economy as a whole, considering its strength and resilience. Trade wars and market volatility While the ISM manufacturing data is still well above the 50% expansion level, the decline has motivated a number of investors to raise recession risk concerns. According to Bloomberg, developments like the US-China trade war, a smoking global bond market, and growing concerns about global growth helped drive Monday's declines. Technology companies and banks were prominent in yesterday's underperforming sectors. Popular economic gauges like the US and global manufacturing PMI levels continue to slow and invite investor concern. The US and global PMI gauges we follow in manufacturing, a key sector of the US economy and employment, have posted declines, and the US is threatening to move below the 50% recession level. The gauges reflect manufacturing on a month-by-month -month basis with a level higher, lower, than 50% indicative of an expanding, contracting economy and months of decline. These gauges are watched closely by investors as a leading indicator about the future path of stocks. The stock market today, trade and recession concerns spike as volatility rises. I am going to cover the effect of the trade war and market volatility creating a daily news article. I hope to structure it to make a good analysis at the end of the month. 6. Case Studies in Market Analysis our process is basically similar to security news market analysis and study. The analysts with whom we are familiar make judgments at their own levels. These are their opinions. Our opinions are not based on investment anticipations, but on our considered judgments of marketplace dominance and profit opportunities. They represent the primary basis for future business venture investment recommendations to our clients. In our company, we go beyond traditional business news research and conventional analysis into the speculative field and apply our findings as recommendations to our clients. We pay a special attention to unusual marketplace activities, non-traditional developments, and less publicized ideas. We compare present activities with their antecedents and make our judgments on likelihood of favorable or unfavorable outcomes. Marketplace the new age and tomorrow's business are equities of the future. Acuity is one of the nation's most experienced companies in the business of market analysis. And it is in that capacity that we make futures recommendations in this column. We refer to marketplace innovations, techniques, new concepts and ideas as the new age of business. At a future time, which might be calculated by weeks, months or years, these new business enterprises will become leaders in the post-industrial economy. They will emerge into tomorrow's new age of business, not only as the leaders but as the dominators in their industries. Lessons from the dot-com bubble 
The premium put on internet, or pure play, stocks led to significant overvaluation when rational bubble thought technology mania set stock prices and market capitalizations far higher than sustainable growth rates. Investors valued technology shares based on how much money and time they could save, not on how the companies could make a profit. Independent financial information was not asked for, nor provided. The WorldCom bankruptcy and financial discrepancies at other firms further shook the confidence that investors have in the levels of corporate governance, public disclosure, and management integrity portrayed at companies like Enron. The frenzy that surrounded the internet and e-commerce in the late 1990s led to stunning stock market gains, but left a bitter aftertaste as the dot-com bubble burst and stock prices came crashing down. Teledesic is an example of a failed satellite business plan, which closed down in 2002 after spending US$400 million. United States. The promises that were made about the internet meant that many people put their financial concerns aside, thinking the sheer amount of available money meant that profitability was guaranteed. This new paradigm attitude ignored historical elements where, for most businesses, profitability is hard fought and is often not assured. 7. The Future of Business News Business news, prestige and importance as a field of research this begs the question, why focus on business news when there are so many other media plays to consider? A suitable answer is found in an observation by Russell on why he prefers his colleague Mike's articles to those of a mutual friend. Mike writes fiction. His stories are so plausible and consuming that they would be taken for the events he describes were it not for his sly use of metaphors. Business news has special characteristics that fit it particularly well to represent the idle fancies of my friends and I, Alice said. Business news is preposterous. And indeed it is, for business news is often about numbers and abstractions, and business has a peculiar temporal quality that tolerates exaggeration and error. Demand for reporting the news of business is heavily concentrated in just a few media outlets. Moreover, academics' research on business news largely focuses on a relatively small number of established metropolitan daily and regional newspapers and an even smaller number of specialized financial newspapers, such as the Wall Street Journal and the Financial Times. We hope our recommendations will help those interested in business news and the media organizations that produce providers give suitable attention to needs of the seniors, that is, citizens over the age of 60, many of whom are facing retirement, have already retired and are concerned about their children and grandchildren's well-being and that of other family members. Introduction In our recent discussion about shifting responsibilities from your shoulders, we'd like to offer some well-considered advice for you. Our recommendations address a common and widespread concern as we meet and hear from you. To focus on the elderly, the multiplied demands of which divert from the needs of their families. The focus will be on business news and its future. Business news is undervalued and ignored as a field of study for numerous reasons, including the tendency to concentrate on media stories outside the media industry and other service-oriented sectors. Role of Artificial Intelligence in News Aggregation This finding continues to be valuable in our fundamental application of the mathematically encoded properties of the signal and noise in financial markets. Signal is principal, noise is virtually negligible on average, and different mixes between the two produce different descriptions. Although the regularities and irregularities are authentic as abstractions of real prices, the labor and capital markets deliver the same theoretical reality, which takes only the scalar form of the feynman cac formula when it describes the correct price of contingent claims at a given historic time. But now I would like to tell you about the AI realities that join our newsletter computer in the last hours before delivery to assemble composites of several different perspectives on currently unfamiliar topics. Now I would like to delve into another and less known facet of our news business, the use in-house of artificial intelligence, AI, to very effectively select, digest and present to a panel of human readers at 5.45 every day a coherent compendium of key developments in world economics, finance and politics that is immediately relevant to all our investment decisions. For years we have been reporting to the rest of the buy side and to the sell side on our use of novelty, 
in both the discovery of new investment types and the prediction of future asset risk premiums. Indeed, we have been employing uncertainty principles to connect strategies, simulations and data, while understanding that genuine unforeseeable events do occur more frequently than in our models.